The lump fish is an interesting creature. In Icelandic, the male and female have completely different names and for many years were thought to be two distinct species. They certainly act quite differently and each has its own particular job to do in the house. The male builds the nest and looks after the eggs. The female just turns up one day, lays her eggs, then scarpers leaving dad to do the housework and bring up the kids. Normally, the lumpfish migrate to shallow waters to spawn in March or even as early as February. Around the famous hydrothermal chimneys in Eyjafjörður, where these shots are taken, the lumpfish delay spawning until the middle of June and even as late as the 20th of July. The lumpfish chooses a nice spot and gets down to tidying up the area so everything will be spick and spun for the new family. Then it's just a question of how good a job he has done so that a mate will want to come and deposit her eggs. Here we see two lumpfish that have decided to become neighbours. How good neighbours is a matter of doubt as there have been quite a few squabbles over prospective partners and they have scars to tell. Notice particularly the striped scars on the male on the left. Gradually the colour of its skin adapts to the surroundings. We've been monitoring this site for some years and noticed that this is a very popular site with the lumpfish. They literally fight for the right to settle in this spot. Here we've seen spawning early on in the season and repeatedly until the very end. This is the last venue for spawning in the summer, even as late as September. We've given it the name Caviar Cliff. The lumpfish habitually blow seawater over their eggs and this is probably done to increase the flow of oxygen rich water. Divers suggest that another reason may be to limit the growth of algae and other vegetation and parasites on them. The lumpfish and his eggs. First the eggs are pink and he's in the pink too. Later they become more yellow and he gets a bit jaundiced with them. And finally they're all black and by then he is in the black too. We can now see little black dots through the thin egg sacs as little eyes begin to form and peer out at this strange but miraculous world. <laughs>